Hi, this is Chris with BestLightRoomTraining.com with another quick tutorial on using some of the new brushes that are included in version 3 of the Workflow Engine preset system for Adobe Lightroom available from BestLightRoomTraining.com. So what we've got here is this is a senior portrait and uh, we've got blue sky in the background, sun was over here in the top left corner and uh, we've used some off-camera flash, two different flashes um, here's the original straight out of camera. Here is the, um, close this down here so you can see a little bit better. Uh, here is after it's been sharpened with the workflow base that's included in the um, workflow engine preset. So now we're going to go in and we're going to use some things uh, in the develop module, specifically graduated filters um, that are presets that are included in the workflow engine version 3. So what we're going to do is uh, we've clicked on the graduated filter tool icon here. Shortcut for that is M. Um, it's kind of a, I mean, how does how does M make sense for that? I have no idea. Anyway, um, under effect here on the right hand side, you're going to choose the drop down box. Now there's some that I have uh, from other places, um, just to kind of see what's out there. I buy presets too just to kind of see what other people are doing um, and uh, uh, decide, you know, it, is that a good thing to use? You know, I use other people's presets too so um, and then I make my own as well so most of the time I just use my own. So um, here we've got uh, three different levels of the blue sky uh, gradient. So we're going to go with medium. And you'll notice my sky is a little uneven over here because I've got the sun. Now I did try to underexpose the ambient a little bit. The sky was very, very bright when we were out here taking these uh, images. This is ISO 100 F9 250th of a second. Um, so it was it was fairly bright out um, and uh, used two uh, uh, bare flashes uh, for our main and a little bit of fill here on the right. So there's just a little slight shadow on the nose there. So we're going to go ahead and drag again. We've got the uh, gradient blue sky medium from the workflow engine version 3 selected. And we're just going to drag down with that. And then I'm just going to tilt it a little bit once I have it dragged down because the right hand side of the sky, camera right, um, is already dark enough. So I'm just going to tilt it a little bit, hit enter. And then you'll notice over here is still kind of light. So um, this is just a new pass. So then I'm just going to come across again, maybe like that, hit enter. And then might be able to do one more pass, but I'm going to have to tone it down. I know that looks crazy, so just hold on. Um, I'm just going to back off the settings on this last pass. A little bit of the blue. I don't want it to look too fakey. Just evening things up. Okay, now I'm going to go and grab, <clears throat> excuse me, um, another gradient uh, filter that is a preset in the Workflow Engine version 3. And this one's just a light uh, decrease exposure across all of that. Okay, now I'm going to grab another one decrease exposure. and We're just going to drag it from the bottom just to make sure that this concrete is not as dark. I might even try doing another pass. Let's just really darken that up. So the focus is just on his face. So there we go. We just dragged a couple of um, graduated filters uh, that have a blue color, a little bit of underexposure, a little bit of saturation, a little this, little that and uh, drag them on diagonals and then uh, the third one I dragged straight down but then backed it off a little bit so it wasn't so fakey blue looking but uh, this helps that you know underexposing the ambient popping that off-camera flash look 
Um, I had a couple other exposures that were better with the blue sky where I had underexposed the choices I made on the exposure were a little different and um, the exposure, ambient exposure to flash ratio was a little bit different and uh, I had a little bit better blue sky but the expression wasn't as good so hey it happens so um, this is a nice way to uh, come in and accentuate that blue sky without making it too fakey looking. So again, these are graduated filter presets that are included in the new version 3 of the Workflow Engine preset system, which is a complete turbocharge your workflow preset system across all five modules of Adobe Lightroom uh, available from Best Lightroom Training and uh, boy, anything you can think of. Uh, presets for importing, for exporting, for uh, uh, the develop module. It takes you step by step through your workflow and turbocharges that to cut your time by up to 80 to 90 percent. I know that sounds crazy, but it is true. I offer a money back guarantee. It is true. I can cut your workflow time by 80 to 90 percent, but you, you have to use the tools that I show you and you have to use them in the way that I show you and you can really cut that much time off. Um, a standard Photoshop workflow. So now I still use Photoshop, don't get me wrong, but I use it for that last 5 to 10 percent of polish on my images. Um, but now I'm not trying to use Photoshop for bulk editing and kind of struggling and fighting with Photoshop to try to get it to do something it's not really meant to do. It's meant for more tweaky work and for that it's fantastic. So for that last 5 to 10 percent icing on the cake, it's wonderful. But I don't have an adversarial relationship with Photoshop now because I use Lightroom and I use it um, to its highest and best efficiency. So um, now when I go over to Photoshop, it's a joy and not a chore. So again, version 3 of the Workflow Engine preset system presets across all five modules of the software, hundreds of presets. and. Uh, this uh, upgrade is going to be free to all current Workflow Engine users and to any new users. Um, actually, old, older uh, current users and new users will have a Workflow Engine Learning Center on the store at bestlightroomtraining.com where you can go through step by step and learn how to use all the hundreds of presets that are available to you in this complete set. Um, how to customize some of the presets that I've made for you with some basic information filled in. All you have to do is just swap your information out and resave it and you're good to go. So uh, we'll have all those videos up. There's already a page set up on the Learning Center for the Learning Center and um, version 3 should be out uh, by New Year's Day or sooner so we got just a couple days left. Thanks a lot for taking a look guys. Have a good evening. Bye.